And y'all, there's already a party going on up here at the West Precinct. There's hella people. So we are now reconvening with a group that looks like they've been out here all day. This is amazing. As you see, we still have the medic booth set up. I'm gonna get a shot of that from a distance. They don't want to be filmed. But this area over here is our medic and supply station. There's donations, there's water, there's food, there's PPE equipment. We got the Kyle Anderson Park where we were yesterday, earlier today and all this week. This is now the reclaimed people street, y'all. We got coffee and soup, thank you, shout out. We got in the window, Black Lives Matter. That's that rickety ass fire escape I was on. We, oh my God, you guys, look at this. Look at this, y'all. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Hey, hell yeah, brother. We got donations. We got thousands of people making their way back up. We got people out here dancing. Can I put you on the live stream? Is that okay? Burn and Sage. Oh my God, the umbrellas, I can't. I'm in love with them. Of course, the pink umbrella right there at the very top. We got outdoor seating area for folks who are tired. Sorry. We got barricades still. We got people making sure folks on the ground are safe. We won't have a repeat of what happened the other day where the uh, man drove into a crowd of protesters and ended up shooting someone. Very scary stuff. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the street art we got out here. Yo. We got the memorial for George Floyd. These candles have been burning nonstop for the, since Sunday. Uh, that's when he was laid to rest, George Floyd. Documented police killings since 2019. I'm going to focus in on that. We're gonna make our way back. If anybody wants to take screenshots of this stuff and post it, I would encourage that. It really is a beautiful sight down here. And I want your networks and your people on your social media to be able to see it as well. So, you know, the live stream is one form, but at the end of the day, this is a four hour long video. Um, and people don't always have time or make time. So, but they can scroll past an image that you might post on your wall, see something that you felt something, uh, felt some type of way by. So. If you want to grab a screenshot of that? Thank you. Oh shit! If it says please do not film the vigil, I totally missed that. Um, if that is the case, I want to apologize publicly. I do not see that sign posted, um, so I'm gonna just carry on. I think this is for the public, and the public should be able to see it. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, we'll keep it pushing. Got street artists out here doing their thing. They have a station set up. Sorry.
Right behind you guys, Hi. sorry. That's not Alright, we're gonna go back up to the East Precinct here where protesters are still occupying space, reclaiming space. One of the demands uh, on the ground here is that this building be converted into a community center for the black community. Computers, Wi Fi. Shout out to Jessica Frost and her husband, who live right up there. They're dope. Couldn't do this without them. This is the back door to the Seattle Police Department. And on it, we have a poster of George Floyd. It says, defund SPD, fund community, drop the charges. It's on the back door of the Seattle Police Department East Precinct. Got some music playing. I'm gonna make my way up here. Uh, to engage in that kind of open terrorism, then it shifted to something more legal, segregation, Jim Crow. Laws were passed that relegated African Americans to a permanent second class status. These things really begin to live out the prophecy that Griffith is making about the way that race operates. And this fear of crime is central to all of us. Every time you saw a sign that said white and color, every time you had to deal with the indignation of being told you can't go through the front door, every day you weren't allowed to vote, every day you weren't allowed to go to school, you were bearing a burden that was injurious. Civil rights activists began to see the necessity of building not just a civil rights movement, but a human rights movement. And I think we should start now preparing for the inevitable. And let us, when that moment comes, go into the situations that we confront with a great deal of dignity, sanity, and reason. Travis K. Your ID and your social security is right here. Travis K. Caucasian male. We found him. Petitions as people who are deliberately violating the law, segregation law that existed in the South. For years now, I have heard the word rape. It rings in the ear of every Negro with piercing familiarity. This rape has almost always meant never. Justice too long delayed is justice denied. I think that one of the most brilliant tactics of the civil rights movement was this transformation of the notion of criminality. Because for the first time, being arrested was a noble thing. Being arrested by white people was, a, was your worst nightmare. Still is, uh, for many African Americans. So what they did, they voluntarily to find a movement around getting arrested. They turned it on its head. If you look at the history of Black people's various struggles in this country. The connecting themes is the attempt.
attempt to be understood as all complicated human beings. We are something other than this uh, visceral image of criminality and menace and threat to the people associated with us. Slavery ended in December 1865. We took away these people's rights, and now we're going to fix it. For the first time, the promise of you know equal justice becomes at least a possibility. Their cause must be our cause too. Unfortunately, at the very same time that um, the civil rights movement was gaining steam, um, crime rates were beginning to rise in this country. Crime was increasing in the baby boom generation that uh, had emerged uh, immediately after World War II. Now they were adults. So just through sheer demographic change, we had an increase in the amount of crime. It became very easy for politicians then to say um, that the civil rights movement itself was contributing to rising crime rates, and that if we were to give legal Thank you for the feedback about not filming the movie. Hopefully, uh, they won't flag it for copyright. Um, that would suck. That would really suck. to stand in for this. Uh, if there is one area where the word war is appropriate, it is in the fight against crime. Part of what he talked about was a war on crime, but that was one of those code words, what we might call Can dollars someone get a screenshot of that now, for me? Which really was referring to the black political movements of the day, black power, black panthers, the anti-war movements, movements for women's liberation and gay liberation at that time, which Nixon felt compelled to fight back against. Once the federal government, through the FBI, moves into an area, this should be warning to those who... Yo, shout out that. to the folks on Twitch that are streaming this. Are going to be Appreciate y'all. If somebody could screen record it and send me a copy. If that's even a thing, uh, I would appreciate that. There can Thank be you. no progress in America without respect for law. Many people felt like uh, the file might be too big control. on Facebook, but if you could reach out to me directly, and uh, I can I can send you my email. The United States against the evils uh, that we see in our cities. Federal spending for local law enforcement will double. Crime is running out. Crime is arresting in American society. The wave of crime is not going to be the wave of the future in the United States of America. We must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. A war on drugs, and that utterance uh, gave birth to this era where we decided to deal with drug addiction and drug dependency as a crime issue rather than a health issue. Hundreds of thousands of people we're being sent to jails and prisons for simple possession of marijuana, for low-level offenses. America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. In order to fight and defeat this enemy, it is necessary to wage 
a new all-out offensive. This call for law and order becomes integral to something that comes to be known as the Southern strategy. Nixon begins to recruit Southern whites, formerly staunch Democrats, into the Republican fold. This is my Persuading one, uh... poor and working-class whites to join the Republican one, uh, what party should I call it? Bad. Uh, by speaking to uh, let, me, let me think about what I want to say, and then I'll, then I'll say it. Hold on. Thinly veiled racial appeals. Talking about crime, by talking about law and order for the chaos of our urban cities. If anybody Unleashed knows about the movie 13th, right. the documentary, it's, um, it's really a dope film. And if you look closely, there are a lot of photos, or at least a few photos, uh, from the Seattle Black Lives Matter marches. And then if you look really closely, uh, you can see my white ass with my fist up out there, uh, standing in solidarity. Uh, somebody sent a screenshot to me a number of years ago when it first came out, and that's probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> so get out there, y'all. Get on these streets. From my Indian colleagues who associate the hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin, and then criminalizing both heavily, we can disrupt those communities. We can arrest their leaders, raid their homes, break up their meetings, and vilify them night after night on the evening news. Did we know we were lying about the drugs? Of course we did. <laughs> Again, we're looking at the Seattle Police Department East Precinct, which has been boarded up by the police, and it has been reclaimed as the People's Department. Thank you, Clay Blair. Make our way back down here. I mean, there's just so much cool art, so much to look at. Everywhere I turn, there's something new. I'll show you an example. Y'all ready for this one? Somebody is projecting onto the wall here. It says, defund the police, invest community. I don't even know where that's being projected from, but how dope is that? Got a white guy out here, thinks he knows what he's talking about, yelling to himself. That's okay, you can stay mad, Abby. Stay mad, Chad. Ooh, I like that, that rhymes. Stay mad, Chad. We gotta start saying that to our white people who be acting up in these comments. Stay mad, Chad. Stay mad. But thank you, and likewise, no need to thank me. This is our civic duty. It's a privilege. Happy to be out here. I want to take a little walk. We are on the Rainbow Crosswalk out here in Capitol Hill. It is Pride Month. The first gay pride was a riot and a series of protests against police brutality. So that BLM on that rainbow crosswalk is incredibly symbolic for me and for this neighborhood and for LGBT people across the country. Let's take a little walk. We got a smoking section over there. Again, yeah, we've got our people's barricade to make sure Nobody gets hurt out here. So we're having movie night. We got coffee, we got tea, we got water, we got tents, we got food, we got medics. 
We got those beautiful fellas. <laughs> oh, I love your brother so much. Well, I think this might be it for me tonight, you guys. You've kind of gotten a, a view of what the perimeter here looks like. Um, just a lot of different people stepping up and showing up for community. We got people in wheelchairs. We got differently abled people coming together, making space, and uh, holding it down out here at the East Precinct on Capitol Hill. Um, you can see the lights are all flashing. Right, this is a now the community zone. Um, yeah, uh, this is dope. Um, oh my God, that little dog, <laughs> so cute. All right, y'all, I'm gonna turn it around. I got my hard hat. Thank you, Ellen. Shout out, appreciate you. Um, but this has been uh, protests here in Seattle. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, send me screenshots if you got them. Email our Seattle City Council members. Give them the list of demands. Um, tell them to stand in solidarity with black people. The list of demands are available on the internet. So, you know, don't say, I didn't know where they were. Um, you just gotta Google. Seattle Black Lives Matter, list of demands. And you'll find something. Um, but I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We will be probably back out here tomorrow night. Uh, looks like it. Um, I'm gonna go get some rest and uh, peace, love, and solidarity. Bye.